I suppose my mission has been to go back to what my dad wanted to do and my, what my dad was trying to, to replicate. I think he would have been an amazing support for local arts and crafts. So I slightly thought, well, I'm going I'm to take it up because I know that what he started in 1950, the potential still is here. I'm Becky Nuttall and I'm an artist and I'm based in Tor Bay. Uh, my father was Peter Draper. He was a writer in the 1960s, 70s and 80s and he founded Milton Head Potter in the 1950s in Brixham. So my dad moved down in 1950 with my mum and he came down with two other people from art school and founded Milton Head Pottery. Um, he was very much looking at the craft side of him being in Tor Bay. So he founded Milton Head and it uh, became very, very successful and it's absolutely typical 1950s homeware, the stripes and the spots. So I was born in 1957 and by that time he was just about to sell pottery and, bought, and move on to writing because he had a couple of successful plays on television. I, I really do believe that every painting that anybody does is self-portrait. I don't think you can get away from the fact that that bit of art is a portrait of them. So I just so happen to be just a little bit more overt about it in terms of that it's not just a port not portrait of me, it's a portrait of what's going on in my mind and a portrait of how I was brought up and the era I was brought up in and the religious dogma that we was inflicted upon us at school, um, the lack of respect for adolescence, the lack of respect for my family really. There was a lot of oh, those Draper girls, you know, then their funny hearty, hearty family and I just found it really sad, and then and then women and the role of women at that time, of course, in the 1970s, the, the expectations, aspirations for for women, and I also use my dad's art as well, and I put my some of my children's art in it as well. I was shortlisted for the Royal Academy Summer Show in 2017. I used to do doodle on the wallpaper, and I just sort of expanded that idea really of what my of, of what my wall, my bedroom wall would look like if I had expanded it. And that was the, the inspiration really was that um, the, the religious context of being in a convent and my sister and she had a little shrine in her bedroom with all the little saints cards in it for a while and I really remember that um, so it was it was based on that like a little a little shrine and then all the bits around me as a poet and all the things I like like irises and koala bears and I love parrots and <laughs> So I put it all together as if I was a child doodling on my bedroom wall. So now I'm absolutely fascinated about how we become poets. I just love seeing that progression of their, uh, their early work. So I said to the five poets that I know, how do you feel exhibiting your uh, very early work alongside your latest work? And they were just absolutely thrilled and they all, they all kept, kept, came at trumps. And they, it, was a, it was a lovely, lovely exhibition. I think they are starting to have more poetry readings in, in libraries now. It's not rocket science, is it? It's just, it just makes absolute sense. Where the people go, you, you, you give them the visual and, and, and poetry.